What is going on, Q's Nation? We're here. Just got to the tailgate. Big game day. A lot of Syracuse fans around. Seen quite a few already. Big game day here in College Park. Really nice campus so far. I like it a lot. Not as good as the Q's, obviously. Um, but shot of the stadium. You can see it over there. Looking snazzy, guys. Stay tuned. Go Orange. And there's the stadium. Game time in about an hour and a half. Cuse Nation, welcome back again. We're walking up to the stadium here. Big game day. There's Cuse fans all around. Good stuff going on. And we'll catch you once we get up to that beautiful stadium. Dad, are we shirt twins? No. Shirt twins. Go on. Yeah, go on! <laughs> Maryland football training facilities. And the stadium straight up ahead. Getting closer. A lot of Syracuse fans down here. Really good to see. Orange Nation showing up big time. Go on. The ticket. The ticket. Wow, look at all these orange fans. All right. All right. I'm telling you, I'm seeing more orange than I am red right now. There's more Syracuse fans here than I've seen Maryland fans. That's certainly a good sign. It's early, certainly early, but a lot of Cuse fans showing up here today. Some boys coming out of the tunnel. a live 
live look at what the Boston College Stadium probably looks like right about now. Empty. Go Orange, go Orange. We're about 20 minutes away from kickoff, and look at all this orange streaming in. This stadium is getting taken over by Cuse fans, baby. Yeah, baby! Let's go Orange! Let's go Orange! Send the turps out of the tunnel, he said. Which means our orange should be coming right out of here. Momentarily, folks.
set to receive the Terps. Kicking it off to the Orange. Sean Riley back there. Nikeem Johnson. Syracuse football is underway. Well, guys, as many of you know, we are down 42 to 13 at halftime. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. Watching the marching band. Not a single defender within five yards of a receiver. Can't get a pass rush going. This elite defense looks abysmal. Looks like Tommy's lacking some confidence throwing the ball. You know, like a few nice completions downfield. But ultimately, you know, that's not going to do it when you're down 42, 13. So. Well, I really hope Dino has something up his sleeve to get things turned around going into the second half. You know, the culture instilled, hopefully it's there. But right now, this just does not look anything like the Syracuse football team that, you know, we were blessed to see last year. And right now, I really miss my man Eric Gungy, so... Geoheater, Orange Heat. As always, though, let's go Orange, baby. Woo! What's going on, Two Station? We're back here again at halftime, down 41, 42 to 13. But you know what, guys? Dino's going to say something in the locker room. Pull up the most epic comeback ever. You just got to believe. got to have faith. I'm calling it right now. Comeback. Q's taking a dub still. Keeping the hype for Clemson. Let's go Orange, baby. Woo! Well, guys, get a good look at it. We're walking out. They just scored once again. Down big in the fourth quarter. So... It's just it's disappointing. Um, as you can hear, there's the PAT. That's good. Just disappointing. Um, you know, we were hoping for a great game, hoping for a big win. I don't think we're going to get college game day anymore. All the hype for the Clemson game seems to be slowly uh, but surely going away. So disappointing loss for the Orange. A lot of Syracuse fans showed up big. Um, just couldn't get it done for him. Simple as that. End of story. But I'll obviously give you guys your post game, your everything like that. We'll preview and predict Clemson. We'll keep it all going. But yeah, let's go orange, baby. Let's go orange. Woo! 